Hello students, in this video we will solve question number 24, 33 and 34 of chapter number 2 from its exercise. So let us start. The question number 24, this says that we need to draw an analogy between the statement this one and the act of putting on and taking off your socks. So let us discuss this part. So let A be putting on socks, putting on socks and B putting on shoes. So what we usually do, we first put socks and then shoes. So this is its reverse process. So in the reverse process what we do? We do first take off shoes and then take off socks. So this is the analogy between this statement and uh, the, this activity. So let us uh, try to solve the another part of this question. So we need to find non-identity element A and B from a non-abelian group such that this property holds. So let us consider the set Q8, Q8 all we know that uh, this is a non-abelian group. So its elements are plus minus 1, plus minus i, plus minus j and plus minus k. So overall 8 elements are there. So we need to uh, verify this one by taking non-identity elements, distinct non-identity elements. Of course, identity in this group is 1. So, let A equals to negative 1 and B equals to I. So, what we see here, A, B, this is equals to negative I. And from here, A, B inverse, inverse of negative I in this group is I. Also, A inverse inverse of negative 1 is negative 1 itself and B inverse is negative i. So what we see uh, A inverse B inverse equals to minus 1 and minus i and this is equals to i. So this part, uh, this part is i, this part is also i. So this implies that A B equals to minus 1 and this is equals to A inverse and B inverse. Usually this property holds in an, in any abelian group but this also holds uh, in this case when the group is uh, non-abelian but we have taken non-identity element. So this may happen sometimes. So another example they are asking find an example to show that is it possible to have this one. So we consider the same uh, same group and we need to uh, give example for a b to the power minus 2 equals to b inverse so b to the power minus 2 and a to the power minus 2. So consider the same set same group q8 and take a equals to i and b equals to j. So a, b, i, j equals to i, j and this is equals to k and this implies that a, b inverse equals to k inverse and inverse of k is minus k as all we know. So a, b to the power minus 2 equals to a, b inverse square and this is k this is minus k square and this equals to k square and this is equals to minus 1. So now uh, let us consider b uh, b equals to j and this implies that b inverse equals to minus j and so b to the power minus 2 equals to b inverse square. So this is square of j. 
square of j. So this is equals to minus 1. Similarly, we can uh, we can verify that a to the power minus 2 equals to minus 1. So now b to the power minus 2, a to the power minus 2, this is equals to minus 1 and minus 1 and this equals to 1 and this is uh, of course not equals to this one a b to the power minus 2 so uh, actually this was uh, this we need to prove that they, they these two are not equal so let us consider next question question number 33 we need to fill here so before we fill let us take an example example is here consider u10 it it contains the elements which are relatively prime to 10 and less than 10 so all those positive integers we are taking so 1 3 7 and 9 so let us take kla table so from here 1 3 7 and 9 so what we see because one is identity element here so this uh, row element of these one this first uh, one will come here three will come here seven will come here nine will come here similarly this uh, all this all this column will be copied over here and another thing is there one is coming here this is identity so one is inverse of one one is coming here so seven is inverse of three and 1 is coming here, 9 is inverse of 9 and 1 is coming here, so 7 is inverse of 3. So what here we have. And one more interesting thing is here, each row and each column, each row and each column contains every element and they, none of those elements appear, reappear. That is, they are not repeated. So what we see 1, 3, 7, 9, none of them repeated. 3, 9, 1, 7, none of them repeated. So similarly in the column 3, 9, 1, 7, so none of them repeated. So with this knowledge, uh, let us proceed to fill this one, this table. So E appears to be identity element here, E into E, E. So let us fill here first A b c and d because this is identity element so a b c and d so this is we are done so first row first column completed now what we see a b c and d these are there so what left e because none of them will be repeated so uh, and now in this row b c d e a left so a should be there now in this column d a b what left c left now c this row this row so a b c d is there so e should be there all right now we have two place two places two places left over here and two places left over in this column so what we see a b and e are there so what choices we have here c and d now the question is that can d come he here in this column no because d already is here so c we need to we are forceful to write here c so automatically d should come here now we have two places only so but in this column only one one entries are left so a d c so d is left here but about this one we can approach from the row wise or column column wise or row wise so b c d e so a should be here so this completes this table i hope you got it so let us move to next question question number 34 question number 34 we need to prove the there are two results in this uh, question first a b whole square equals to a square b square if and only if b a equals to a b that is if and only if that is group should be abelian then this will hold 
another example another uh, result is a b to the power of negative 2 equals to b to the power of negative 2 a raised to the power negative 2 and then uh, this holds if and only if a b equals to b a so uh, let us start let us start going first 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 part so consider uh, we need to prove this let let a b square equals to a square b square then we need to prove then to prove a b equals to b a what we need to prove for all a and b so we shall start from here a b square equals to a square b square we can write it like this a b and a b and right hand side we can write a a b and b so this implies that a b and a b a a b b now multiply both side from left by a inverse in each side and from in the right by b inverse in both sides so this implies that a a inverse is nothing but identity so e b a and then e this is equals to e a b and then e so this implies that identity into something is the same element so b a equals to a b so this proves algebra and the converse part runs in the reverse direction if this holds then this holds then this holds then we can write like this so this proves the first part of this result so now consider the second part for second part we shall proceed like this uh, a b to the power minus 2 and we can write it like this a b to the power minus 1 equals to 2 and this is equals to uh, i need to say this here is a bracket all right here is a bracket so this is by reversal law b inverse a inverse and square of this one so this give us b square minus b to the power minus 2 and a to the power minus 2 so this implies that b to the power minus 1 a to the power minus 1 because this power is 2 so we can write 2 times this one so b to the power minus 1 a to the power minus 1 this is equals to and in a similar fashion we can write a inverse a inverse and then this will give us a to the power minus 1 and b to the power minus 1 and this is equals to b to the power minus 1 a to the power minus 1 how this is coming because in a group we know that left cancellation law left and right cancellation law cancellation law laws of a group so uh, what we see here this b inverse is there so this will get cancelled from both side a inverse also get cancelled from the right side so we are using both okay, together so left cancellation law and right cancellation law. so what what we left a inverse b inverse and equals to b inverse a inverse now from here let us multiply by a from left a a inverse and b inverse this is equals to a b inverse and a inverse and this implies that this becomes identity so identity b inverse this is equals to a b inverse a inverse and again this implies that b inverse and let us multiply 
by a in the right side so a b inverse a inverse and a so this is b inverse a inverse equals to a b inverse and here identity so this becomes a b inverse now this implies that multiply both side with b uh, from left so b b inverse a equals to b a and this is b inverse and then this will simplify to this is identity so a equals to b a and b inverse multiply by b from right so b a b inverse and b this is equals to b a to e that is b a so what we see here b a b equals to b a so this completes the proof of uh, question number 34 thank you very much for watching